everyone, it is Monday here at Craft Clutch, and that means it is Make Something Monday. And today we're going to be making a resin ball, a resin glitter ball. And you can use this outside. You can like hang it from trees, um, just as kind of a fun ornament. Or you can certainly use it inside. You could use it as a Christmas ornament. Uh, or you could maybe hang it from a light fixture in a window, anywhere. Now, what I'm using, and I know some of you have noticed this blue orb that uh, has been in some of the background of some of my videos because I've been working on this project and it is a silicone mold and it has a matte finish. I was really looking for something with a very glossy finish on the inside. I couldn't find it so I got this one and I do actually have a use for the matte finish in the future. And actually what it is, they're used to make big ice cubes to put like in a whiskey glass, that type of a thing. It comes in four and I am going to have it linked on in the description and on my website craftclutch.com where you can get these. I ordered them off of Amazon and I am using one for the craft room. I may actually end up using two in the craft room and I have written craft on the bottom so I'll always know which one it is and that way I can still use two to make some fun ice cubes for the summertime and I will certainly share some videos and ideas of that as well. And I am using the Easy Cast Resin for this. There are other resins available. ETI is the maker of Easy Cast, and they have other resins as well. I'm hoping to use some of them in some future videos. I like Easy Cast when I'm working inside because it's low odor. Um, there are other resins that are better for different applications. And if you, ever you have any questions, you know, if you're doing a tabletop or any number of different things. Just go ahead to eti-usa.com. I'll have it linked in the description also. They are very helpful there. If you ever have a question, go to their customer service. Um, if you're looking for their product and you're having a hard time finding it, or which product is which app, you know, which product is good for whatever application you're trying to make. So that's what we're doing today. I have a little bit of resin left over from a project that I'm working on, and I'm just putting in a very fine glitter, and this happens to be the Glamour Dust. I mean, I really have very little left in there, and all I'm gonna do is drip it. Now, I know it's going to run down to the bottom. That's what I suspect will happen, and I am okay with that. But in this top half, which doesn't look like a top half at the moment, I'm going to put it in there and I just want to kind of keep an eye on it to make sure I don't get it dripping down into the hole that it has in the top. I'm just kind of hoping that in the end it's going to look like streaks. Now I'm going to take it and put it together and now I'm just going to leave it. And any extra stuff I might just drip in to the hole on the top and I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to let it sit overnight because I'm not in any big rush or anything. I'll kind of let it do whatever it wants to do and you can twist it and stuff like that. It doesn't matter. Do whatever you want. There's no right or wrong. I have some more resin left from a project and it's just a little bit of resin. I'm going to take some of this glittery stuff Pour it in there. It's purple. This I got at um, Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to make this a little bit on the thicker side. And then I'm going to kind of drop it in the hole on the top. Alright, so I have it in here. I'm going to just move it around for a while. I'll hold my, you know, have keep my gloves on and do this for the next, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 minutes on and off. I've let this sit for a couple of hours and now I'm going to add some more stuff. Um, I had rolled the purple around and it seemed like it took. So now I'm going to put a little pink in. And so I got the pink mixed in here and I want this to be nice and thick too. Alright, you're going to want to scoop the pink into the hole. Alright, so I have that in there. And I can swirl it around a little bit if I want. And now the next one I'm going to I'll do a little bit of green. Now I'm scooping all of this in here and I'm not letting it dry between the coats. And that may be good or bad or 
who the heck knows we'll just have to find out but I'm gonna just put it right in there and I'm even gonna kind of hold it on an angle so it's not all hitting in one spot now I'm gonna do the white I'm hoping this is the last layer it's kind of hard to tell in there might be pretty close and then I will throw some of the glamour dust in there again and I will work this stuff all the way in there too all right, now at about this stage, I can add my wire. I'm not quite all the way to the top, so I'm gonna have to do at least one more layer. I have some 20 gauge wire, and I am going to just kind of twist it around like this, and I want a hook, and I'm going to insert this into the piece, just like that. Try to keep it centered. You can always bend it and stuff later. That doesn't matter so much. I'm going to create a little more resin to finish this off, and then we will be off to the races. All right, I'm going to just, pre I prepared some more resin. I'm going to just throw some more stuff in there. I figure we're kind of mishmashy already. Might as well go whole hog here. Got some fine pink, a little more of the glamour dust. Okay, now I'm going to pour this stuff in as well. Okay, now I'm going to let this sit. It's obviously overflowing just a little bit. doesn't matter. I'm on a safe surface. We're good to go. I'm going to let that sit overnight at the very least, and then I will come back and we will unmold it and see what we got. All right, here is the moment of truth, and I'm a little nervous and really excited all at the same time. I'm going to have to get my finger in there create a little separation. All right, I'm gonna take a skewer stick, kind of just get in between there to be able to grab a little piece. There we go. And pull it out. Okay, then we just need to remove this paper thin stuff. And you can take a craft knife and carefully just trim this stuff off. Again, you could use a fine sandpaper, that would be okay. And there it is so far. It looks like it's got a lot of potential. Um, here is the very first layer of the glitter. Then we went with the pink, or the purple, I think it was. And I tried to get that all over the place. And then we got green, and then we got some pink, and then we got white. It's kind of all mishmashed together. So what I'm gonna do is make some resin, and then I'm going to paint it on here to kind of hopefully bring out the shine and the really beautiful look of it all. I've mixed some more easy cast resin so I zoomed in here a little bit in hopes that you kinda can see the magic as I brush it on there and you can see how very shiny and pretty it is and now you're able to see the glitter. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to make sure I get the bottom. Now a lot of this resin is gonna drip to the bottom and drip off which is obviously why we have it over the tray and then if you think there's any bubbles, go ahead and run your lighter over the surface real quick. Um, probably you won't, but you might. But the main thing to remember is come back every once in a while and on the bottom, just kind of wipe that bottom off with a brush. Just because otherwise you are going to get you know that drippy piece right at the very bottom and you don't want that. Let it hang undisturbed. After 12 hours you can start to handle it and after that it takes a full 72 hours to fully cure, but you know it's fine before then. Just kind of be gentle with it for the first 72 hours. Same like the coasters, you know I unmold them after 12, but they're not actually fully cured until 72 hours later. Here it is all finished, and I realized I forgot to tell you I made this little stand just using a tray for like, you know, it's like a TV dinner kind of tray and it's disposable and I have two glass bottles. I put some water in it to give them some weight and I duct taped this skewer stick to one of them. That way I can still access anything that I need to access but it leans up against this one and it actually worked out very well. It's very sturdy. This has been completely drying and here it is. In the sunshine it will be nice and sparkly. We got the white on the bottom you got some purple, some green, some pink, everything all over there. So I think it turned out pretty cool and I'm thinking it's going to be really fun to experiment 
with this mold in the future with all kinds of different things. I have a couple other ideas in mind already, so be sure to keep a lookout for that. In the meantime, I hope you like it and leave your comment below to let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and we will definitely see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and happy crafting.